Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we are making some progress on the 2004 R32 behind me. If you haven't seen my last couple videos, I've completely redone the front uh, end of this car. From new rotors, uh, calipers, brake lines, bushings, uh, what else, what else, sway bar. So go check those videos out if you want to get caught up on the YouTube channel. But today I am working on the rear control. Arms. I removed the rear control arms and I bought a bushing kit to stiffen up the, the rear. But unfortunately I couldn't get the bushings out of the control arms. I tried everything. I tried a hand press. I tried soaking the bushings in gas so they could deteriorate. That's what I found on YouTube. That didn't work. I went to a, a buddy's shop. He had a 14 ton press. He couldn't press them out. So I decided I was just going to buy new control arms. I don't really need adjustable control arms. But when I was looking at pricing, the stock control arm was $279 a piece and I needed four so I was not about to do that so I looked for adjustable ones and I'll put the price below but these were substantially cheaper and a much better upgrade than the OEM ones so I picked up these Megan Racing adjustable control arms normally you don't need um, two adjustable control arms per wheel you just need one but since I needed four control arms, I decided to go ahead and order uh, two per side. You would only really need uh, two control, adjustable control arms if you were really dropping your car or really raising your car more than you know two or three inches. Then you would need to uh, adjust the camber with those. But anyways, let's jump into the project of what I need to do right now is this adjustable one is set to the stock height or stock length. I need to adjust these other three. And then I ran into a little bit of a snag when I was test fitting uh, these. Basically the distance between here is 52 millimeters and the stock distance is 51 millimeters. One millimeter doesn't seem that much of a problem, but actually it was a tight fit inside. So I might have to tap them in, jiggle them around uh, to get them to fit, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But let's jump right into it. Forever young, or am I faking on the tip of my tongue? There's a sarcasm waiting for you. All right, so we fully adjusted here. I uh, actually didn't know these were stickers, so they were stickers, took them all off. Now it's all nice and clean. So let's jump into installing. I'm willing to trade my soul for a bit of your charm. So, as you can see here, the control arms are in. Uh, yeah, fitting into those holes is kind of a pain. I had to bash them in because they are one millimeter wider. I also have had to remove uh, this subframe nut or bolt in order to get this one across. So, that has to come out, so I'll just put that back in. Uh, and then I'm going to tighten these down to spec and then I'm going to put that back in um, so it's easy access and then I'm going to go on to the other one but look at those they look pretty sick well all bolted on and torque to spec subframe bolt is back these look pretty sweet uh, now to get everything this blue <laughs> alright well I'm not going to bore you guys with the other side let me go do that quick then I'll get back to you. 
a few moments later. So there we have it. We are now fully assembled with the rear control arms on both sides. They are both uh, specced out, talked out to whatever they need to be. So thanks a lot for tuning in to this episode of my R32 build. Uh, next episode, you can see me finishing up the whole rear. So I will be putting on the calipers, the pads, changing this uh, rear hub, uh, the shocks, the springs. The rear end will be done with the next episode. So be sure to hit that like and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. That should come out pretty shortly. So thanks again. Until next time, I'll see you then. Oh, yeah.